My BFI player plus choice this week is a British classic from 1958. Directed by Roy War Baker and starring Kenneth Moore as second officer Charles Lightoller, the film has become a touchstone text which stands as an emblem not just of British cinema but of British culture itself. A night to remember. Based on the book of the same name by Walter Lord, A Night to Remember tells the story of the sinking of the Titanic, a story which would be told again decades later by James Cameron in what became the biggest selling movie of all time. Cameron's Titanic cost over $200 million, was nominated for 14 Academy Awards, of which it won 11, including Best Picture. A Night to Remember cost less than $2 million and was nominated for no Academy Awards, and yet in almost every respect, a Night to Remember is the better picture, benefiting from a forensic attention to visual detail and a thoroughly researched script, which together forge an unforgettable portrait of human behaviour in the face of impending catastrophe. Why aren't you wearing your life belt? Well, the passengers mustn't think I'm scared. The Titanic story had, of course, been told before, with screen versions dating right back to a now-lost 1912 film, starring and co-written by real-life survivor Dorothy Gibson. Several survivors served as technical consultants on a night to remember, ensuring that the drama was as realistic as possible. It's also worth noting that Baker's film steals a couple of shots from a 1943 German propaganda film called Titanic, although these are uncredited for obvious reasons. Sometime in the late 90s, I told Paramount CEO Sherry Lansing that the problem with James Cameron's Titanic, which her studio had just made, was that it just wasn't a night to remember, and frankly I didn't understand its success. She replied that my problem was that I wasn't a teenage girl, which is fair enough. But as far as I'm concerned, whether you're male or female, young or old, A Night to Remember is still the film that James Cameron could only dream of making.